Hi, I'm in my living room. How are you? I've got <laughs> Chris Tower Walker's £10 vest today. This is serious. £10 is way heavier than £6. I'm going to push myself to the max. Hi everyone. How's it going? What? How are we? How has your day been? It's Thursday. So this week, let's look at what we've done. We've done a huge full body on Monday. You had me and Chris Tower Walker on Tuesday. You had legs yesterday. Bearing in mind, my hamstrings are on fire today. Is anybody else's? Like, they're burning. It was really, really tough. That leg workout yesterday that we did together was super, super good. I really enjoyed it. So today, we're going to work arms and abs. Yes. How are we? Hello, everybody. Are you ready to train? Are you ready to push yourself? Are you ready to push yourself outside your comfort zone? I am, because I have got a £10 vest on today. So if, um, like me, the £6 vest, you've been wearing it for a long time and it's starting to get, you know, challenging, and it is challenging. The £6 vest still pushes me outside my comfort zone, but you do want to try and have that variation of having that day where you push yourself just a little bit more and go a bit heavier. Sean was wearing his £10 vest today. I'm going <laughs> to match him and wear my £10 vest. So if you want to upgrade, again, the same offer stands. So you can click the link above this video. Not only are we going to send you one vest, you can have two vests. So you're going to be able to give one to your friend, your loved one. You're going to be able to give somebody the gift of fitness and work out together and train hard and really push each other. So if you honestly are an advanced body worker out there and you are rocking the six pound vest, maybe Christmas is coming. Maybe you're going to get the six pound vest for a friend to start them off and you can get the 10 pound vest because you can have one of each if you wish. So all you need to do is click the link above this video. So arms and abs, what are you saying? Do you fancy a bit of arms and abs? Do you? I'm in my living room again. Look, no trainers. All you need to do is rock in your living room. Pick yourself something that you can use. All you need is a little bit of a space. As long as your sofa or your couch, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. I, don't, I call this a sofa. Some people call it a couch. So there you go. So I've got my vest on. Mm. I'm going to need some water. It's going to be 50-10 as always. Um, I'm thinking that we're going to do some biceps, we're going to do some triceps, we're going to do some inner, some outer core. Because yesterday we really worked the legs and the two days before that we did full, full body. So the only thing we haven't really concentrated on is that midsection and these arms. And then tomorrow is another full body workout which is going to really see you through to the end of the week. So that is our full week done and dusted. So are you ready for today? Are you ready? Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know where you're watching us right now. Let me know what challenges you've done. I want to know everything. Are you going to do this when you get home? Are you excited about arms and abs? Is this something that you've wanted? Anything you do want to see, again, pop it below. Let me see what everybody's saying. <sighs> Is this your living room? No, it's not my living room. It's a friend's living room. <laughs> it's not my living room, no, but it's pretty look and nice picture. So no, I'm I'm rent a living room today. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice to be in an actual living room, leading by example, as opposed to being in the middle of a of a school or something like that. So it's actually very nice for me to prove to you that you do not need to be anywhere fancy to train. You can just get in your living room with me every single day right here. Oh, let's see what you're all saying. Hello, hi Vegas. Hi Sharon, hi Jennifer, hi everybody. So, are you ready? Arms and abs, are you pumped for it? I thought we'd do some serious biceps, some serious triceps, um, loads of ab and core work. I didn't cut my hair, no, I'm growing my hair. Um, I've just tied it back with some pins because my fringe drives me mental. Um, so are we ready? Let's push it, let's really work, let's get some arms and abs in. So, get your water ready, make sure your water's handy. Now, I'm gonna be using a box to elevate Mainly so you can see me, but also if you use like um, a box or a chair or something that you can actually lie on, you will find that you'll have to engage your abs a lot more. So it's almost like using um, the balance trainer when you stand on that. Because you're uneven and you're wearing the vest, it's going to push you a lot more. It's going to make you work a lot harder. So think about that. If you have got a bench and you can elevate and you can push yourself a little bit harder, maybe do the first round on the floor and then do the second round um, with the bench or something like that when you do this again okay mm. so again reminding you all that i'm four pounds heavier today with this vest so if i'm a little bit slower that's why it's because this vest is going to really really push me ah i hate myself just for doing it so there's going to be some times we're going to take the vest off there's going to be some times when we're going to leave the vest on um so that's it are you ready are you ready to train so your first round to get you nice and warm 
Your first round to get you warm, you're gonna get your arms nice and high and you're gonna jump in and out, okay? That's gonna be your first round. So, with or without the vest, however you wanna do this, if you don't have any of our equipment, you can still do these workouts. Please, 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 Join in, just join in, share us, like us, see if there's anything in here that you can take to the gym later. Um, and uh, let's do it, are you ready? So, your first round, just as I showed you, you're gonna jump in and out, that's gonna be your first round. So, are you ready? This is gonna be so heavy, like seriously heavy. So, first round, I'm gonna elevate you. You're gonna do what I just showed you, and we are gonna crack on. So you have, I think I'm gonna need my water. I've got a feeling it's gonna be one of them sweaty ab workouts. Abs and arms. So we're rolling. You ready? You better be ready. What's it say? Hello. Hi, everybody. I can see you. I can see all of you. I can see all of your comments. I can see all of your love hearts, everything. It's amazing. Let's go. 10 seconds. So you're going to start with those jumps. I'm going to start with your first exercise. So again, remember, we're doing arms and abs today. So uh, two, if you can't balance like me, that's absolutely fine. <sighs> Lift <sighs> lower. Now, I want you to stack if you can, but if you can't, you can put your feet side to side just like that. But I'd like you to stack your feet, lift, lower, lower. So you're gonna stay nice and high, up, up. Come on, push. You can do this on the floor as well. You don't need to be elevated. Let me try and stack my feet. No, can't do it. They've weighted, but I'm not used to the extra four pounds of the vest. So I'm gonna keep it safe. Come on, push. Keep going. Come on, you're jumping. And then you're doing this one. Time. So, you can either do it elevated or you can do it on the floor. So, that's your next move. Then you're going to do the other side with me. Are you ready? Let's go. So, you're going to join me right now. Get onto your side. Lift and lower. So the extra weight of the vest is going to push me. Can you see me? I'm going to move back a little bit. So the extra weight from the 10 pound vest is going to push you. Come on, push down. So you can do this on the floor. You don't need to elevate, but try to. So we're working shoulders, core, abs, all over 20. Up, 17. Come on, 13, 12, 11, <clears throat> push, hold it, 8, 7, 5, 3, 2, last one. So, next one, that's, you're going to do the other side, and then you're going to follow me and do this one, okay? <clears throat> Again, you don't have to elevate if you can't, but try to. Let's go. So, you're going to come out with one arm, one leg. Touch the knee, take it out, that's hard, with a 10 pound vest. Wow. Down. Now, if you can't do it with taking the leg out, just bring the knee in, take it out. Bring the knee in, take it out. But try, oh wow. You're not kidding. The people that say the 10 pound vest pushes you, oh, this is a challenge. 18. I'm up for it though. Woo. I'm gonna concentrate real hard. Four, two, ah. Oh. So if you wanna do it on the floor, you can. So serious, if you wanna do it on the floor, you can. But that's if you're a beginner. Yeah, it's Christa Walker's vest grace, yeah. I borrowed it so I could make sure that I'm not quitting. So again, you're gonna do what I just did. And then you're gonna take the next round. You're gonna come it out, bring it in, bring it under, bring it in. Take it out to the side, then bring it in. Now, oh, really, concertina your abs together. Right to the side, bring it under. Your abs should be burning. Oh, wow. Push. Oh. If you've got the six pound vest, you should try the 10. It is, oh, challenging on a whole different level. So working shoulders. So you bring it under, elbow to knee. So 
Elbow to knee, and then bring it in, okay? Whew. No kidding. So, whew, let's get some biceps involved. So we're gonna squat down, bicep, take it out, take it in, come up, squat down. Now wide legs, down. So these are fives, I'm gonna push up to my 10. I really want to work for you guys. Let's go. So it's a 10 pound vest, 10 pound weights, working hard. Abs, my legs are hurting from yesterday, that's for sure. 15, 12, 8, 4, 2, last one. So this time I'm going to do plank. So you're going to do that one, I'm going to take the next one, okay? So you're going to plank it out. So plank with one hand, come up, take it back, bring it down. So we're working plank, so that's working our abs. Triceps, down. So when you bring the weight all the way down, really lower it to the floor, take it back, down. Down, 26. Come on, keep going. Arms and abs, that's how this is rolling today. 14, 10, 7, 3, oh. so try to really get that balance. And when you come up, make your elbow higher than your body, then take it back as hard as you can, okay? If you need to, you can stand up and do it. You don't have to plank. But I want you to plank because I want to work the abs as well because today is arms and abs. And so let's work the abs by holding the plank. So get yourself in a comfortable position. And then you're gonna come up, back, take it down. Really reach forward, up, back, take it down. 30 seconds. Take it down. So really want you to work as hard as you can. Down. Up, down, Whew. 14, uh, 10, uh. abs are burning now, 4, 3, 2, my abs are on fire, so arms and abs, let's push, keep going, keep working, so you're going to do the other side, I'm going to take the other one, so again, working arms, which is what I want. You're gonna come up and take it out, up. So let me come to the side so you can see me a little bit better. So up, take it out. Now if you can't do both, that's perfectly fine. A light weight, staying in that seat, working those legs, working those arms. 22, arms and abs, yeah, killing it. Control. Come on. Ten. Six. Four. Two. Last one. Awesome job. So, this time. Whew. So, that's what you're going to do, and then you're going to move on to this. You're doing awesome, by the way. So, you're going to touch one leg, take it out. Touch one leg. Take it out, so that's all you're gonna do. We're gonna stay in that seated position, working that one side only, but take both feet off the floor. Up, touch one leg, take it out. Try and stay in your seated. The vest is pulling me back. Out, take it in, bring it up, take it in. So if that's too hard for you, put your feet on the floor, bring it, sit up, bring it. But try to get that seated, bring one leg in, bring it back. One leg in, bring it back, 18. So do this on the floor if you need to. Seven. Five. Three. Two. Last one. So we're going to do the other side. You ready to join me? 
Oh, it's so hot. Amazingly, someone's hoovering again. They were hoovering yesterday. <laughs> they just like to hoover at the same time. Let's go. So get your seated position. Feet on the floor or not, lean back. So until your core is engaged, one leg. Let's go. Touch. Take it back. Touch. Take it back. Take it back. So the vest is adding resistance. We're building muscle. We're working hard. 30. 28. You got this, come on. I know it's hard. I know it's challenging. I know it is. I'm doing it with you. With more weight than I usually use. I usually use six pound vest. I'm killing it with a 10 today. 10. If you haven't got one of these vests yet, you should. They're amazing. Three, two, last one. So, you're on the other side. Really try to concentrate on pulling those abs in, okay? Push them in as hard as you can. Really don't quit, keep going. Let's go, next one. So I'm gonna go on the side because it's easier for you to see. So you're gonna stay, take in that weight between the legs. Now if you don't have a weight and you are just joining in with me, you're gonna tap the legs, tap the legs. Now if you can straighten your legs, do that as straight as you can. I struggle. Straightening my legs really, really, really straight. I have really tight hamstrings, and that's okay. Whew. This vest is unbelievable. Posh, 17. Come on, 12. Eight. Four, three, two. You're doing awesome. You're doing absolutely awesome. Stay with it. So let's get some chest involved. Are you ready? You're gonna do those kicks and then you're gonna do some chesticles with me. So again, if you've got a bench, use your bench. If you don't, don't worry about it. But make sure your back's on your bench. You're gonna come all the way down, take it all the way up. So working abs, core, chest, ah, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You're doing awesome. Keep pushing. Now because I've got nowhere to put my feet, it's making me work harder by having it raised. Down. Up. Come on. Up. You got this. 14 seconds. Keep going with those kicks and then you're gonna try this one. Five, three, two, last one. Oh, that's not easy. So, here's sticking to the back of my neck. Just tie it up for a sec. So you're gonna do that one, and then you're gonna join me for the next one. Are you ready? Let's do it. So this time, one arm, one leg, cross, take it back, cross, take it back. So, make sure your vest is on the bench. Up, now, with that lift, you can put your other foot on the floor if you want to. You can do that if you are on the floor. Just put it on the floor if you need to. Advanced people, if you've got a 10 pound weight like me and a 10 pound vest, oh, this is gonna kill. So working arms, abs, all over, down, 14, oh, 10, oh, five, oh, two, oh my gosh. So, if you need to go onto the floor, go onto the floor. But honestly, try not to, try to push yourself. Try to work your abs, work your chest, work your arms. Push as hard as you can, okay? Let's go. You've got this, other side. I'm sweating so much, it's ridiculous. So get yourself in your position, whether you're on the floor or not. One arm, one leg, if you wanna put your arms up, you can. Down, it's very hard, on a bench because your abs have got to hold you there. Your vest is trying to pull you down. Oh, 10 pound vest is no joke. My gosh, this is unbelievable. This is really pushing me in a great way. Let's try the opposition. Spot on. Just 
either lift your legs off the floor just a tiny little bit. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sweating. So we roll as real as it gets in this place. So your next one after that, let's do some arms. Up, take it back. So hold in that C sit. Now I really want you to concentrate on working those shoulders up, down. Really hold that C sit position if you can. Come to the side. So you're doing those other sides, and then you're doing this one. Come on. Oh, ten. Five. Three. Oh, how's it feeling? It's feeling a little bit awesome right now where I am. Oh, so that one's yours, and then you're back onto the side. So let's go. Oh, so this time onto your side, you're gonna bring it up. So I think I'm gonna lower my weight down, and we're gonna work some shoulders at the same time. So plank it out, come up, and then come forward to the side, up, and then come forward to the front of your body. So this time when you come forward, bring it in, take it down. So row it forward, press it. Say it to yourself, row it, forward, press it. Row it, press it. Come on, row, press. 10, seven, four, two. Let me show you. Look, sweat. Keep pushing. Let's go. Let's, let's go, let's go. So, onto your side. So, again, you can do this on the floor. You don't have to do it on here. You can do it on the floor, look, just like this. Row. It's just that you can see me easier if I stand on here to do some of the side stuff. And sometimes it is a bit easier. So, you're going to join me. So, you row in a side plank. So, row it up. Bring it to the front. Oh, and then press. I forgot about that. That's our position right. Row, up, press. It's all about that plank, holding it. Press. So all we're doing really is holding the plank and adding a bit of arms to just distract us really from what we're actually doing, which is the isolated hold in those abdominals. Three, two. Okay. You okay? Thanks, thanks very much. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I like it. I do enjoy adding a bit of extra muscle, adding a bit of extra in. So this time, let's do it. So you're gonna come down into a lunge. We're gonna come up, up, then take it over, bring it down, <sighs> up. So abs are working to hold us in that lunge. I've also got a bit of leg working as well. But you're gonna go down, so I'm gonna come to the side. Stay in that isolated lunge, up, press, down, bring it up. Up, press, down, bring it up, come on. So you've got the weight of the vest, working those massive fat burning muscles like we did yesterday. Come on, I know they're burning, I know. Biceps, lift, triceps. So you're gonna join me. What weight are you gonna use? Let's do it. Let's set, let's do it. So this time, go down, all the way down, hold. Make sure your knee's not going over your toe. Arms in, make go up. Shoulders, triceps. Make sure your elbows aren't flowing out. Keep them in, down. This is too much for you. You don't have to add the lunge. I'm adding the lunge because your abs are working to keep you in that isometric hold. Your iso hold in your lunge will help burn fat because they're massive fat burning muscles. Up, take it down. <sighs> come on, come on. <sighs> down, <sighs> come on. Push, arms and abs today with a tiny bit of isometric in the legs. <sighs> Go. <sighs> <sighs> this is oh, serious today. So you're gonna do the other side. You okay with that? 
Let's do it. So I'm going to take my vest off this time and I'm going to use my vest. I'm going to use my vest this time. So, are you ready? I'm going to use my tampon vest, wrap it around my legs. You can do the same. Keep pushing, keep going. So, just hold your legs on your vest. You're going to take it out and then you're going to bring it in. Now, if you can't do this, take the weight away. If you can, try to bring your legs out and then bring them in. Take them out and then bring them in. So the weight of the vest is adding much more resistance to your bottom abs. Come on, really concentrate. Get that back flat, lift your shoulders. If you can't add the weight, you're just gonna stay with this. Taking the legs out, try not to touch the floor. Bring it back in. So beginners, you can just stay with your feet on the floor and then you can just lift slowly or you can just stay with the lift and the lower if you wish. Again, using your, using your vest as a weight. Let's go. This time you bring it into your knees. You bring it into your knees. You take it out, bring it up into your knees. Take it back, bring it into your knees. Take it out, bring it in. Take it back, in. If you're balancing on something like me, there's nowhere to put your feet, there's nowhere to put your shoulders. Ah, so it's all caught. Ah, come on, take it back, bring it in, take it out, in. We're working today, people. Arms and abs. Ah, don't let it fall through your knees. Don't squeeze your knees extra tight. So again, you can do that on the floor. You can do that on the floor, but just try to make sure that your back is touching the floor. Hi, Laurie. <laughs> Let's go. This time, this time we'll um, bicycle crunch that with the, with the weight of vest. So the weight of vest comes over and you touch your toes, then you take it back, you touch your toes, and then you take it back. Come on, push. We're nearly there, I promise. Push. That's it, come on. Keep working. Push, push, push. Let's go in. You're doing those knees. And then you've got this one, and this should be burning so much. Oh, tan. So you're gonna do, I've got a notification, you're gonna do those suitcase crunches, suitcase crunches, and I'm gonna take the next one, which is awesome. So you're gonna, I'm gonna stay on the bench so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna use, I'm gonna put my vest on, I think, a bit easier for you so you can see what I'm doing and use a weight. So you stay with those suitcase crunches. This is what's coming up next, a low weight. You're gonna go under, take it round. So come under, take it round. So come under, really reach under. So if you're doing this on the floor, this is how it looks. Stay on the floor, you go under, take it round, under, take it round. Okay, I'm just using this bench so you can see me a little bit clearer. So under, take it round, really drive, right under, time. So you're gonna stay on this side. Oh, I'm sweating everywhere. Staying on this side, okay? Let's go, stay with it. So staying on this side, let's have it forward, side, then back, forward, shoulders, then back. So this time, instead of going back like this, we're gonna put our palms to the ceiling, okay? So forward, take it to the side, then your palms go to the ceiling and squeeze. Forward, control, to the side, palms to the ceiling, forward. Again, if you need to go down into your elbow, you can do that, you can do that, that's fine. Here's your modification. You can go down into your knees if you want to. If you have to, if your abs are that sore right now, but try not to, forward, side, Palm to the ceiling. Woo. Palm to the ceiling. Forward, side, time. Okay, so you're gonna do that one that I just did. And we change it around. 
and do the other side. How you doing? You doing okay? Good. So we're nearly there. We're so close. You're 24 minutes in, you've done awesome. So in, take it round, bring it under, right under, take it round, take it right under, take it round, all the way, down, come on, arms and abs, killing it, 20, Come on, 15. Keep pushing. A. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, so you're gonna do that side. And then we've got one more of these. Couple more. And you'll have smashed your workout today. Are you ready? Come on, body rockers, let's do it. Let's not quit now, let's stay in the game. So stay in the plank, so out, row, take it back. No, that's wrong. Forward, to the side, take it back, that's right. Forward, to the side, palm to the ceiling. Forward, to the side, palm to the ceiling. You're doing that turn. Palm to the ceiling, loads of isometric holds today. Loads of shoulders. 12, 19. Oh, oh, how are you feeling? I oh, know it's not easy. 12, 10, 4, 3. Oh, so, how are you doing? Keep pushing. I promise you, you're going to really see a difference. It's arms and abs today, so you've really got to work. You've really, really got to push. I'm right with you. It's real time. So you're on. You're on. Forward to the side, and then make sure that when you go back, we're working the tricep just that little bit differently. You're gonna put your palm to the ceiling this time, not like we did before, where it goes that way. Okay? Yes, Lisa? Okay, good, good, good. As long as you understand. So, let's get some rocks in. Let's get some tucks in. So you're not doing this. You're not doing in and out with the knees. You're lifting and concertina and the abs together. Come on. Really drive, really push. So close. I can see you all. Thank you for the love. Come on. Four, three, two. So you're going to do this one with me. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come on, let's do it. Sides. Going on to our sides. Um, this time you're gonna sit slightly onto your knee and then you're gonna lift up to the side. So you're sitting slightly on your bum cheek. Now if you want to, hold on to the floor just like this, but I want you on your side, on your bum cheek. I don't want you centre like we just did, like that, which is what you're doing. Sit on your bum cheek slightly and lift. So working those side obliques, 18. Come on, 13. But three huge days of legs and full body. Now we're doing predominantly abs with some arms. Two, that's one. Change sides. You okay? You okay? This is 10 pounds, 10 pounds. This vest, this is a 10 pound vest. This is way heavier than what I would normally use. I would normally have the six pound, but I'm pushing myself just a little bit today. So if you normally have the six pound like me, Give it a try, get yourself a, a 10, mix it up, it, it works. So again, you should be doing this with me right now. So roll over onto your bum cheek, sit your arms back, sit nice and tall, pull your abs in, think about the move, drive your legs up to the side using this muscle here, not all front, all sides. Feel it, mind to muscle, lift. Come on. 15 hurts my bum cheeks from yesterday. <laughs> it's killing me. 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, that's 1. Oh, so you're going to do the other side. 
and then I'll take some triceps and some biceps and some shoulders. And then we're done, we're on 29 minutes. This is round 29. So you've killed it so far. So we're gonna do some triceps. So you're gonna go all the way down. Now with this extra vest, this feels brilliant. I can't tell you how good this feels. <sighs> Can you tell from my face how brilliant it feels? So you're gonna keep your shoulders back. Your shoulders go all the way, your elbows back. Your elbows go all the way back and down. You just drop the bum. See how close my bum is to what I'm going off the end of? Bum's nice and close and you drop down and up. Lift through the abs. The further your legs are out, the harder this is. If you put some weight, which is what we should really do, on your legs, makes it even harder. So try adding some weight to it as well. Oh, that, that was a stupid idea, that really hurts. Uh, just even five pound makes all the difference. Three, two. <laughs> Add some weight, it's awesome. It's really awesome. So let's work. This time, kneeling, you're gonna come. So I'm gonna kneel. So you're doing those, um, you're doing those uh, triceps and then you're gonna come onto some shoulder work. Up you come, so I'm kneeling down. So you can see me, Look. notice I come up in an L, drive, squeeze down. So working those triceps, working those big muscles up, <sighs> lift, <sighs> squeeze. It's not heavy weight, it's nice and controlled. <sighs> Finishing off with a couple of arms, <sighs> lift, <sighs> 14. Mm. This feels pretty awesome. Eight, <sighs> five, three, two. Mm. How did that feel? That feel all right? Good, because it's only gonna get even worse. <laughs> so this time, let's get that isometric lunge again. So working those abs, come up to the side. So you're doing this one that I just did, you're doing that one, and then you're doing this one next, which, believe me, if you're holding that lunge, it's gonna feel, well, if you've got your vest on as well, remember the vest is adding more weight to the muscles in the leg. So it's making you burn more fat. 27, halfway. God, my arm shoulders are on fire. 23, 22. Oh, counting down is making it a little bit worse, if I'm honest. 15. Come on, you've got this. 10, 8, 6, 3, 2. Are you ready to join me? So you're gonna take, it's gonna feel pretty sensational. You're gonna take side to side, and then I'm gonna take the other leg forward. I'm gonna change my weights up. I'm gonna change my weights up, because we are gonna do out to the side biceps, holding that lunge. So, oh God, I'm gonna regret picking up these tendons. So holding that lunge, you need to make sure you can see me. You go out to the side with the bicep, out to the side, out to the side. Really stay down, stay low. Oh God, they burn. Notice how I didn't stay with my lower weights. Notice how I push my weights up because I know I can. Never, ever, ever just stick with the weights that you think are easy, that you have. Go up if you can. Every second counts, every rep counts when you're trying to make changes, every weight pound counts when you're trying to make changes. So you're gonna stay in that lunge and you're gonna go out to the side with the bicep. Imagine you're running your hand along the, the side of a, um, of a table or something like that. And then this is your next one after that, which you're probably gonna hate me for. So you're gonna come down, out. So working shoulders, working those joints. So it's arms and abs today. So we're finishing on some arms. <laughs> Biceps are killing. Come on. 23, 22, 18, 15, 10. Come on. Come on, don't quit. Four, two, last one. Okay, so 
This one is your last bicep. We're going to get some um, upright rows in. And then we're done. That's 35 minutes. Arms and abs. Killed it. So, upright row. So you're going to lunge back. Upright row. Bring it in. Lunge back. Whoop, try not to wobble on the carpet. Upright row. Bring it in. Up. So your elbows come up as far as your shoulders. Bring your hands all the way up. Take it down. Down. Again, keeping that movement, it's keeping our body weight, uh, our body temperature high, keeping our heart moving, keeping those big fat burning muscles working, especially with that vest that I've got on, you're really going to push every step you do, that's 20 pounds, no 30 pounds, I've got rocking every time I go up and down, holding, pushing, four, it all counts when you're doing combination moves. Oh, I need to add one more in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't not. I can't not do it. So, this is your last move after you've done those. All right, row. I can feel my arms. Let's go. Front push. Take it down. We're gonna we're gonna even add on to that. Punt push. Take it in. Take it up. Out. Take it down. In. Up. Out. In. So it's two moves. Push it out, take it down. Shoulder, come in, lift it, take it forward. Lift, in, shoulders, take it down, all shoulders. Control, lift, push, down. 10, this hurts. Shoulders are on fire. Shoulders are the key to arms, by the way. Three, two, last one. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna take my vest off because it jumps around way too much. So you're gonna finish on that one. You're gonna finish on that shoulder, bring it in, turn it, shoulder press, bring it in, take it down, forward, take it down. Okay, I'm gonna end on what you started with, which are jumping jacks. Oh, my shoulders. Come on, push. 40. 35. You're doing awesome. You're doing super, super cool. Come on. 23, 22, 20, 15, 10, 12. Sorry, 10 now. Come on, get those shoulders in. Four, three, two. That's it, people. Look, <laughs> 37 rounds. 37 rounds of awesome. <sighs> so, let's take a recap of what we just did. Now, a lot of you are not going to be able to do a lot of those moves. I understand that. So, what we need you to do is listen very carefully. I gave you alternatives. Um, let me bring you down to the floor so you're not so high and I can come a bit lower because I'm bollocks. So a lot of you are not gonna be able to do um, all of those moves. So I'm just gonna quickly, for you intermediate and beginner people out there, show you. So if I use that box, well, what I want from you is if you are beginner and intermediate, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie on the floor. Now, as soon as you get on the floor, lift your bum, squeeze it, put it on the mat, lift your shoulders, put it on the mat. That'll take the arch out of your back. And what I mean by an arch is if you can run your fingers easily under your back, you're not working abs. You, you're not working abs at all. You need to lift your bum and get that. You see, look, I can't do that now. Get that arch out of your back and then squeeze. So if you've just had a baby or if you're emptying the bins all the times to do it right now when I'm filming. So if you are, um, if you've just had a baby or you've had some kind of operation or your abs are quite um, uh, not as strong as they should be this is a perfect one to do while you're watching telly so lift up squeeze and then all I want you to do is just squeeze your abs as tight as you can relax squeeze your abs as tight as you can relax that's all you need to do you don't even need to do a full sit up you just need to learn to engage your core release engage your core release so can you see as I squeeze and tense 
release. So while you're watching telly or while you're walking around the street or while you're doing your shopping, concentrate on that move. So squeeze, release, squeeze, release. That's gonna help start working your core. And you think that's gonna do nothing, but imagine if you had one of those squeezy balls and you did that every single day. Eventually, this is gonna become easy. It's gonna become stronger. So the more you do it, the stronger it'll get. That's it, it's just a plain fact. So back to what I was saying. People that are beginners, you're gonna come on, squeeze your balls, squeeze on the mat, take out the arch. Right, so for example, when I do, say for example, this one, where I go out and my feet are not touching the floor, what you're gonna do is put your feet on the floor, you're gonna put your head on the floor, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your knees in, hold it, and then you're gonna put your feet back on the floor. Bring your knees, hold it, and put your feet back on the floor. For example, when I did um, chest press, with my legs in the air, you're just gonna put your feet on the floor and you're just gonna do the chest press. Or you could do the chest press and then lift your legs, put them down. Getting used to that moving. It's all about finding your, your um, level. I know a lot of these that I do are very, very hard, especially these ones on your side. So especially these ones on your side that we did, just did. So here's your alternative. Beginners, you're just gonna drop your hips. You're gonna take the weight off. Or if you want to predominantly work the abs instead of the arms, so that was an arm and an ab movement. So whichever one you feel you wanna work more, take out the arms. You can hold yourself up and you can use your other arm to help support you. Just that little, you know like when you lift weights or when you do something, somebody gives you a bit of a spot. Use this arm just as your spot. You don't need to touch the floor a lot, but just hold it so it gives you a bit more stability. Also, a trick with your legs, instead of putting your feet together like this, take your feet apart, so that'll help. You've got more distance, okay? You can always drop down as well. Um, so I think that's it, that's it. So we've done arms and abs, so we did a lot of shoulders, we've done a lot of shoulders doing front raises, we've done a lot of bicep curls, we've done a lot of shoulders and biceps, isolating. We also did some triceps, we've also, um, done a little bit of legs as well. So if you've got your weighted vest on, which is like this one, this is, I use the 10 pound vest today, which is hard. Like I've watched Sean do the push-ups in them this morning. It's, it makes it look really easy and it's really not. The 10 pound vest is heavy. Um, so if you are like me and you've been using the six pound for a long time, maybe it's time to upgrade. Maybe it's time to have this one in the bag, you know, for those days when you are just doing abs or you are just doing isolated stuff or legs. It's brilliant. Why don't you add another four pound to your leg workout? you'll see a lot more difference, I tell you. Because if the six becomes challenging, but like a little bit easier on some things, imagine how, how much stronger you're gonna get if you add four more pounds to your workout. So, what have I, have I told you everything? So if you do want one of these, if you're looking at me for the first time, you just need to click the link above this video. You're not just gonna get one vest, you're gonna get two. And you can mix and match. So if you want a six pound and a 10 pound, if you're like me and you are an advanced um, athlete, or you wanna give one to your partner, or you wanna give one to a friend, um, you can do that. So uh, start with the six. If you've never had a vest before, start with the six. Believe me, it'll push you really, really hard. And then if you want to, uh, in in uh, in a bit, go up to a, go up to a ten. Um, it's, it's paying for itself. You've got me today. Uh, Sean's been on. You've got so many free workouts. So this is where we do all of our free workouts and all of our workouts eventually go and all of our challenges go into sweatflix.com and that's where you're gonna find the intermediate challenge. That's where you're gonna find the advanced challenge. That's where you're gonna find everything. So it's all there. So um, that's it. I've been in an actual living room again, leading by example. I hope you've joined me today. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Monday, Tuesday, we did full body. Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, we did full body. Wednesday, yesterday, we did legs, which was brilliant. Today, we've done arms and abs, and tomorrow, we're going to do full body again. So it's all sorted. Your week is sorted. You ain't got to worry about going to the gym, signing up for your classes. You've just got to turn up, press play, and we are going to take you right the way through your week. Hope you enjoyed your workout today. Let me know, as always, if this any questions at all, anything you want to know, anything you need to know, whether it's meal plans, diet, what I eat, what Sean eats, what we all do, um, anything, anything at all that you are struggling with and you need an answer for, pop it below here and somebody or me or someone will get back to you straight away because that's what this is for. It's for live videos so we can answer your questions and get back to you straight away. I think that's it. Hope your arms and abs don't hurt too much tomorrow because we're going to do full body so I hope you're going to join me. <laughs> I had it all some time. I'm reading your comments, that's why every now and then I pause, like I'm like a little bit 
not knowing what I'm doing, but it's because I'm reading your meal. Uh, I'm reading. So the meal plans. Um, somebody, Rachel, somebody will give you a link to that. So again, if anybody's got any questions, pop it below here, and we will get back to you straight away. I had an awesome time. Anybody that went up to a ten best and did this workout, I want to know. I want to know as well if you elevated for the first time off a bench, because a lot of you don't do that. This you stay on the floor. But if you did try it, let me know. See if you saw a difference. You will see a difference. Um. But if you push yourself a little bit harder, if you did something you've never done before today, these are all things we want to know about. We love it when people post and put, I did my first push-up off my feet today. I did my first reverse pull-up. I did my first this. I did my first workout with my vest. And they post the high fives. It's brilliant. And it also inspires other people out there. You'll never, ever, ever appreciate just how many people you inspire by sharing and liking your, your journey. Because remember, everybody's journey is different. So don't compare yourself to somebody's you know, two year journey when you're already starting on your first week journey, it's not gonna be the same. You have to concentrate on your circle and you you just push yourself to your max. That's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about anybody else. Just stay in your zone, stay in your circle and push yourself as hard as you can.